Hello, so in this video we're going to take a look at approaching roundabouts and if you can see a church on the right there, I don't know if you can see that but I'll tell you an interesting fact about that church when we pass it in a bit. Many people ask me, you know, why do I have so much trouble with roundabouts? They say every time I get to a roundabout I just have trouble doing it and I don't know what to do. One of the most common causes of this is that people insist on stopping when they get to roundabouts and as I've said many many times in my videos going back over the last uh, 13 years and I've been making videos for on YouTube you're not supposed to stop on the approach to a roundabout I see this all the time when people come to me from other schools and they'll say okay go on show me what you can do and they all do the same thing they get to a roundabout stop handbrake neutral what are you doing why are you putting the handbrake on you may need it possibly but you should not be planning on using the handbrake on the approach to a roundabout. Roundabouts are designed to keep traffic flowing, so that's the idea. We're going to get to one now which is particularly nasty. This was done in my video where I taught you how to move off quickly. And I'm going to get around this car. He's just dropped someone off. It's a really nasty roundabout. We'll be taking the second left, Kings Norton Green. So I'm in second gear, there's a car behind me. The point is, watch how I don't stop the car. So I brake, clutch, I'm creating time by rolling first gear, I don't want to get there and stop, so I roll and roll. If you need to stop, fine, but you shouldn't just stop. Notice I still haven't stopped. I'm rolling, rolling, gas clutch, looking, can I go? No, nope, because of the white van, so I roll, creep, gas clutch, off I go. Up into second, check the mirror signal, off I go. Notice how I didn't stop. That's the whole point, if you roll up to junctions, and people in like that roll up to this and people say you should stop dead if there are pedestrians. Why? How am I going to hit them from here? I'm rolling, I'm creeping, there is no way I'm going to hit them. Okay, you don't have to just stop dead. Stopping dead wastes fuel because it means you've got to stop the whole weight of the car and then get it moving again from a standing start. So that's just a quick introduction to how you should be approaching pretty much any junction. There is only one time you have to stop by law at any kind of junction or whatever. When is that? Let me know in the comments. When's the one time you must stop by law? And there are different versions of it. You know, there's kind of more than one, but it's the same thing, but just done in different ways. So yeah, before I go, what was that story about the church I was going to tell you? Well, any of you, any of you that know of Thomas the Tank Engine, that church was where the vicar worked, he wrote Thomas the Tank Engine. Just a bit of trivia for you there. So check out his other videos on the screen now for more help with your driving. Thanks for watching and as always I'll see you again soon for more videos.